Today we are doing a Q&A and I think I'll start doing these on a monthly basis. So towards the beginning of the month, keep an eye on my community tab and I'll make a post. Then you guys can leave all your questions down below. Uh, before we get started, if you can sign up for the newsletter at frank stefanocom to stay in touch, as well as subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. Uh, so our first question is, what do the elites eat? What is the secret to their health? And there's two main considerations in health differences between the elite and the masses. In reality, these people shouldn't be called elite. They're a bunch of degenerates that have just kept secrets from the public for many, many years. One, they are not being poisoned throughout their entire lives with various chemicals and radiation from soy formulas to fluoride to chlorine, cell towers. Two, they receive adequate vitamins and minerals during developmental stages of life for optimal brain function. That base of health in early life is definitely the most important, but the elite uh, do have access to certain doctors, procedures, hormones, chemicals uh, that they can take for things like antioxidants, energy, brain function, and overall holistic doctors, naturopaths, natural medicine was what the elite used for many, many years. You know, modern medicine is for the masses, not for the elite. Why so many boys dressing up like girls? And I don't really spend a lot of time on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, uh, so I'm not 100% sure what you're talking about, but my two guesses are, one, they've always been dumping estrogen in the water like it's nobody's business, and two, the twisted gender agenda being shoved down our throats wants boys to be girls and girls to be boys. I did see a video uh, by James Charles last week about guy liner, and <laughs> it's like, I don't know how many views, it got, probably over 10 million by now, showing guys how to do eyeliner. <laughs> Hey, listen, listen, you guys can, you guys can call me gay all you want, but, uh, ugh, yikes. Where do you see yourself and your channel in a year? And this is something I really need to do a whole update video on and just talk about my life, my thoughts, you know, what I'm currently feeling and thinking. Uh, at this point, I mean, even just a year ago, I did expect to have some relief, like to not have to film, edit, all my YouTube videos, to, to run all my businesses myself. I expected to either have some help or to be making enough money to be comfortable and not stressed or worried about things. Now, I'm gonna continue to stick it out as long as I can because I have been doing YouTube every day for almost three years, uh, but now I really don't know how much longer I can do this without any progress or reward. Uh, you know, my only guess is that pertaining to YouTube, my channel will still be heavily suppressed. I'll likely have a similar view count, if not less. And that's the reason I keep making videos every day. I'm really scared of what would happen if I stop because just taking a month off for jaw surgery from live streaming, I basically have to stop live streaming. I lost over 70 to 80% of my viewer base just taking a month off. So I feel like if I ever took a break from YouTube for any period of time, I would, uh, I would lose a very large percentage of my viewers because I'm not gaining any new ones due to my position in the algorithm, if, you, if it can even be called that. Other ingredients in supplements. What's totally fine, acceptable but not optimal, and avoid at all costs. And this is very subjective and there are many different additives that can be in supplements. Off the top of my head, you have rice flour, magnesium stearate, ascorbyl palmitate. The best case scenario, it should just be the supplement ingredient in a gelatin capsule. So if you buy like magnesium glycinate or copper glycinate, and the ingredient list will say, you know, magnesium glycinate and then gelatin capsule. That should be it. But by all means, it's better to take a supplement and have some slight negative ingredient than not have that mineral in your diet because there are some things that are pretty much impossible to get from food now. So there has to be you know, some level of sacrifice pertaining to that. What do you think about power electricity cut prediction by World Economic Forum? Uh, just like they predicted, you know what, with the scripted event, 
it's just more predictive programming, getting people to expect something so they don't question it when it happens. Everything in this world is planned, staged, scripted by those in power to control the masses. This is simply one of the tactics they use so that most blindly trust an authority. Oh, they're so smart. They predict the future. They knew what was going to happen. They warned everyone. <laughs> yeah, no shit. They have the script. Uh, my personal opinion on that is they need to keep people attached and connected to the internet, to the Wi-Fi, keep people getting radiated. Uh, so I'm not too confident that they're actually going to be cutting the power for any point in time. And if they do cut the power to people's homes, they certainly won't cut the power to radiation towers. Do you know what cancer really is? I don't believe in their explanation and all modern medicine. I think it is many different health issues with different causes which has to be cured differently. They just call it cancer and don't worry if a person dies. The main goal of the medical establishment, big pharma, all doctors, MDs, nurses, is to pad their pockets through deception of the masses. There are few real reasons to require a doctor or hospital. You know, we mentioned elites using naturopathic and holistic remedies earlier. Most modern health issues are caused by poor diet or high environmental radiation. I, I can't think of something that's not caused by those two things. Do you still eat raw meat? If no, why? I, I mean, we made the venison tartare last week, but I haven't been eating that much raw meat. Uh, when you have liver damage, or really any health issue, the bigger problem is to fix the underlying cause. And the only difference between raw and cooked meat is slightly less stress on digestive enzymes. And there is certainly a thermogenic warming effect to cooked meat. So, you know, raw is not better than cooked by any means. And there's no magical cure-all property to eating raw meat. Like, there's no underlying health issue that's caused by eating cooked foods. It's just a lack of certain things in your diet. And, yeah, raw meat was present in many ancestral diets, but not mandatory by any extent. Do you prefer sausage or bologna flaps? And honestly, I thought there would be more uh, silly dilly questions that I can answer, uh, but they are dressing those boys up pretty now, huh? And maybe I just need to take a break from Instagram because I spend more time trying to figure out what the person's gender is before seeing their private parts. I mean, that's usually not an option and, and they do have some really good surgeons now. What kinds of tea to go for and what kind to avoid as well? As good brands, is there anything at all to detoxing with tea, etc.? cetera? Uh, so just drinking tea or water fasting in general can take stress off your digestive system, uh, but different herbs, roots, flowers, whatever is used to make the tea have different properties. And there are dozens, hundreds, thousands of different types of tea. So you, know, you have to look at what you have access to and the two main things to figure out is how the tea is grown, is it polluted or full of chemicals, and what are those beneficial plant compounds in the tea. You know, something like Pau Diarco or olive leaf or uva ursi is antimicrobial, but there's certainly an anti-nutrient component to those things as well. There's pros and cons to nearly every food we consume. It's just we want the pros to mostly outweigh the cons. What should we shower with and use instead of deodorant? I'm in Serbia, there is no way for me to get your products. What are the natural things our ancestors used? Uh, so I'm sure you can find some clay locally, uh, which can be used abrasively for cleaning your body, brushing your teeth. Our ancestors lived natural lives free of modern chemicals and bacteria. Uh, so just by bathing a few times per month in a river or lake, you know, they were able to clean themselves fairly effectively. Another question about clay. Uh, the use of clay to absorb toxins. Animals use the clay to absorb toxins from the food. A study has shown clay can absorb deadly amounts of mercury. Uh, then we could eat clay after eating fish uh, to get the benefits from fish without the pollution. Uh, so when you consume clay with a meal, it can bind to the toxins that were in the meal, but you don't want to consume the toxins in the first place. You're still going to be absorbing some of them, and it's an impractical solution that doesn't address the root problem. Has your perspective on fat loss changed over time? Do carbs have to be limited? 
is there an optimal strategy for maintaining fat loss, calories in, calories out, low carb, low fat, EMF? And I used to advocate for carnivore or high nutrient dense foods, which does work. I actually have several videos like how to lose weight, top five tips for losing weight as fast as possible. But in order of importance, I would say, number one, consume organic, high quality, local from farms and remove chemicals from the diet. Number two, reduce Wi-Fi EMF in the environment. And number three, don't combine sugar and fat to make hyper palatable foods. And then if you have adequate animal protein and high quality plant foods in your diet, your weight should regulate to normal. When you say you're getting fried by the Wi-Fi EMF, how do you know what that feels like? I'm surrounded by five computer and TV screens most of the day and I feel fine. Uh, so most people are used to being in a high radio frequency environment due to their cell phones being on them all day, always next to a router, laptop, various devices. I have a head cover and clothing on wifi shielding.com and if you wear it for just five or ten minutes you will feel the difference a loose explanation is more clarity and less anxiety but you have to remove yourself from the wi-fi emf feel that and then go back to the environment uh, the main reason i know this contrast is because you know i commute to new york city a couple times a week and the levels of EMF in my house compared to New York are basically zero versus maximum. So I can really feel the difference. Does acid rain affect my spring water source? And if you are fortunate enough to have well or spring water, you still want to get it tested for chemicals and pollutants because it's impossible to know uh, what exactly is going on nearby. Uh, you know, I would Google like water testing and send it out to a couple labs it shouldn't cost you more than a few hundred dollars. Tutorial on how to grow taller with diet and environmental factors. Why are some people born naturally strong? Uh, so from the health of the sperm and the egg to prenatal nutrition, breastfeeding, early childhood nutrition, teenage years, getting adequate vitamins, minerals, fatty acids, as well as being in a low radiation environment throughout all of those stages of life are required for optimal physical development. With that optimal physical development comes height, bone density, natural athleticism, and strength. And that's the physical side, uh, the mental side, the DNA that does have to do with ancestry. You know, it's a reason royal families usually only marry with each other. Uh, that's a whole different discussion, though. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy this Q&A. Uh, as I said earlier, keep an eye out on my community page uh, in early February and... I will make a post and we'll let it go for about a week or two, accumulate questions, and then I'll pick some out. Uh, so if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, uh, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And if you do want to support me further, check out frank-stefano.com. Uh, so thanks again for joining me, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow's video.